Hey guys, this is Kvek and in the next couple of minutes I'll show you how I draw different levels of dynamic poses for the female body. To start things off, I defined a torso shape with the lower half being wider to give that feminine hip width. Next I extended the legs, choosing to put the weight of the character in one of the legs, that way I have freedom with the other leg. I could also have the legs equally distanced meaning the center of gravity is somewhere in between them. For the arms I went for a walking position, one in front and one in the back, different from the legs, meaning that the left leg is going forward and the left arm is going towards the back. As for the head, you can have her facing straight forward, but that doesn't give much of a sense of purpose, or at least that's how I feel about it. In the second sketch, I am trying more of a defined hip angle in order to really bring out the feminism. Again, one foot holds most of the weight, meaning the character is balanced on that foot. Right now, I am refining the shapes a bit and redoing the feet. Also, I always tend to make the head smaller than it should be. This time, the arms have almost total freedom. So much freedom that she almost became a masochist that likes to choke herself. If you notice, the flow of the character is a zigzag. Head facing in one direction, torso in the opposite direction of the head, hips slightly tilted, compared to the chest area and legs facing a bit forward and back to complete, to complete that zigzag pattern. With the third sketch I drew a random shape and decided to go crazy with the pose. The result is a dynamic, initially off balanced pose. I had some difficulties with the head because I hate drawing upward shots. I also shortened the stretched arm when I shouldn't have because I thought the proportions were off. As you can see I made some slight adjustments to the waistline to make it look slimmer. Other than that, I am messing around with the lines to get a more defined outline. For the left arm, I decided to make it look passive, as there are too many directions for the limbs already. I finally fixed the leg touching the ground and let's head for the final sketch. Here I wanted a rear view shot, or otherwise said an ass shot. But I also wanted to have some of the chest area visible, so a twist of the torso was necessary. Other than that, the legs were quite easy to do, I just spread them a bit and defined the calves muscles and the heels really well to make sure they looked properly. A resting arm on the hip and a simple head shape brings the sketch to a finish.
This was just a quick thought process behind my way of drawing the female body in different poses. If you wish for me to make more detailed art tutorials, make sure to comment and rate the video as you wish, and if you are new to the channel, gently smash that subscribe button for more videos.